Hi and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to go over five great stock ideas for beginner investors. These are all large companies meaning plenty of liquidity. They have proven business models. They generate proven profits over time. They have reasonable price earnings multiples. They're names that you'll recognize so no obscure penny stock BS. Just good quality names on sale. investing there has never been a better time to get into the markets right in the middle of a correction when there is a bloodbath in the markets and everything is on sale now of course this is also the most difficult time to start investing because you want to tell yourself things like i'll wait until the market gets better i'll t wait until i see some more economic growth or some more stability or until coronavirus blows over it's really easy to procrastinate and wait in these times. The excuses are just endless. Coronavirus, oil prices, global slowdown, climate change. It almost seems like the world is going to end tomorrow. Well, the world is not going to end. This is not the first market correction. This is not the last. Uh, we'll get through it and investors that take on risk will be compensated. So don't buy into the doom and gloom and procrastinate. See this as an opportunity and get greedy. Start investing. Experience is everything in this business. So start earning experience and some dividends. Buy low, sell high as they say. Well, right now is the time to get greedy and buy low. Buying a quality stock in this kind of market can potentially yield a little extra return in your portfolio if you're prepared to hold it over the long run, of course. I must emphasize the word quality here. You can't just go and buy any stock. You have to make sure that your purchases are reasonable. Investments always come with risk and some companies may take longer to recover than others. So make sure you do your due diligence and research on any companies before you invest in this video we're gonna go over five top quality stocks that every beginner should consider now if you're new to investing I hope you're already familiar with the benefits of a buy and hold strategy or in general you understand the benefits of holding investments for the long term at least two to five years as that will apply to all the stocks I'm talking about here also I hope you've come across the benefits of index investing so before we get into these stocks I just just want to preface this by saying that the very best beginner stock strategy the absolute noob strategy it's foolproof it's couch potato uh, easy it's uh, it's amazing the best strategy is to invest in a passive index so just buy and hold a an ETF that mirrors an index dollar cost average with your regular contributions and purchases and you are going to have a great rate of return. You're going to be fine. You're going to reach all your retirement goals. No problem. But what if you're not comfortable with owning 500 company names, uh, which you can't even remember? Um, and some investors feel more comfortable when they know exactly what's in their portfolio. So they choose to buy individual stocks. Now, some investors also may have had enough of index investing and may want to kick up their investment game a notch and start building their own portfolio and start buying some individual stocks. Maybe buying individual stocks in addition to uh, the ETF portfolios that they already hold. So then the ETF portfolios become the core and you have a little satellite position on the side in your individual stocks. Well, in that case, here are some stocks for you to consider. Now, first and foremost, I feel these stocks have a very good chance of long-term capital appreciation, meaning you can sell these shares a few years later for a big profit. All of these are large cap stocks. The companies are worth billions of dollars. They do business all over the world. This is certainly Fortune 500 type material. The shares are liquid. The businesses uh, have proven their business models over the long term. There's no big surprises with these stocks. But since this is a beginner's video, I also tried to select stocks with recognizable names, familiar or relatively simple business models. Now, don't expect these stocks to double overnight, but I think it's reasonable to expect these stocks to provide a total 
total return of 10% in the long term. So again, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a penny stock that will break out tomorrow. These are serious investments that you should be prepared to hold for at least a few years. Uh, these stocks also pay dividends. In other words, these companies are going to send you money every three months. That's always reassuring when a company you invested in sends you some money. Uh, dividends are also great for beginner investors who, uh, who want to be a bit more active with their account because you get regular cash that you can choose either to reinvest in the same company or maybe you can choose to buy another stock with it. So without further ado, let's look at our first stock. So the first stock on the list is Coca-Cola. You cannot get more recognizable than this business, obviously. Everybody knows Coca-Cola, understands Coca-Cola. They, Their business is they sell carbonated sugary water. They're actually a really good investment because they pay a dividend. As I mentioned, all these stocks pay a dividend. Coca-Cola has consistently paid a dividend. It's consistently increased it over the years it's never gone down so great business and it's gotten caught up in uh in this uh, sell-off that we're seeing in the u.s markets okay so the coca-cola company we see a couple of months ago it was trading at 60 it's now closed below 54 dollars uh in the last month went down by 10 percent always you know always great to get 10 percent off on something uh, their earnings per share of two dollars and seven cents. They're planning to uh, grow that next year to two forty four. Fairly fairly reasonable price earnings. A forward price earnings of twenty. It's not sky high. It's not something unrealistic. Some argue it could be a little too high, but uh, you're talking about one of the most recognizable brands in the world here with a profit margin of 25% on carbonated water. You can't go wrong with this business. Next stock on the list is Johnson & Johnson. Obviously, everybody's familiar with Johnson & Johnson. You just need to walk into your bathroom to understand their business model. They create a whole bunch of random stuff. We're not going to get into it. I'm sure everyone's familiar with Johnson & Johnson products and even uses them, has them in their home. So Johnson & Johnson, again, uh, sold off in this uh, coronavirus sell-off that we've had over the last month. It was trading at above $150 not long ago. It closed at $141.64 today. Great company, forward price earnings of 14 very reasonable. It still has a great profit margin of 20%. In the last month, it's off by 7%, not too much. But then again, this is a great company. It's already at very low earnings. Great business to buy. Um, you know, makes very simple for a beginner to understand. Makes sense. So definitely check this one out. Uh, next up, uh, Disney. So again, a uh, great business model on sale. It was at $150 not too long ago. It's now at $111. So what do you get with Disney? With Disney, you get a forward price earnings of 18. Very reasonable. This month, it's off by 20%. It's down 25% for the quarter. So a substantial, very tempting discount that you're getting here. Disney does pay a dividend, 1.58. The payout ratio on this is 28%, so I don't think they're going to have any problem maintaining that dividend or maybe even increasing that dividend. Um, they are profitable. They have earnings per share of 593. They're expecting to grow it next year. Next up, we have Intel. Intel Corporation obviously produces microchips. Again, I think everyone's going to be familiar with the business model of Intel, uh, it sold off quite a bit. Again, far below its 200-day moving average. It closed at below $54. It was trading at above 65 not so, not so long ago. Price earnings on Intel, very reasonable. 1080 forward, uh, forward price earnings. Uh, it pays a dividend of 2.45%. Again, very respectable. This, uh, 
this month is down by 20%. So 20% off on Intel. I think that's that's a reasonable discount. Again, very, very reasonable price earnings. There's not a lot of hope in this, uh, in this stock. Uh, earnings per share next year are not expected to grow. This year they grew at 6%. Over the next five years, they're expected to grow at 10%. Again, not stellar numbers, but with something like this, when you're buying at these prices, you're not setting the bar very high. They don't need to produce stellar results in order to over exceed the expectations that are set out with with these kind of valuations definitely a value play here with the low price earnings multiple and 20 percent off uh off of their highs this month now if intel is a little too safe for you some of you may want to consider amd now amd of course if you look at the long-term chart has had a stellar uh, stellar performance over the last few years and it also has uh, got caught up in this sell-off uh, AMD was trading at $55 it's now at 45 now with AMD obviously there is a lot more risk that you're getting the forward price earnings are 28 so that's you're almost paying three times as much uh, for your earnings with AMD. But now, of course, uh, their, um, their earnings per share for next year are expected to grow by 40%. So they're hoping for a lot more growth than Intel. Uh, some of you may, may, prefer the, may prefer AMD stock as opposed to Intel. But of course, this is a far riskier stock, and this month it has only sold off about 10%. So a lot of expectations still built into the stock. You can't really call it a value play. Wouldn't recommend it necessarily for a beginner, but definitely a good one to look at now that we're on the topic of Intel. So last but not least, I want to talk about ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil and Chevron. Now, both of them are oil stocks. They're huge oil and gas companies in the United States, and all of them have taken a beating in this latest um, global, down, uh, global slowdown that has triggered a slowdown in demand for oil and gas, as well as the coronavirus that just made it worse. And on top of that, you have uh, the Saudi Arabians basically lowering the price of oil, hammering these companies even further. So in the long term, I think these are fantastic shares to buy and own. And at these prices, they are bargains. Now, if you are considering buying Exxon, Mobil or Chevron, Exxon will currently pay you a dividend of 8%, which is fantastic. I mean, I generally target for a return of 10% on my stock portfolio. So if you can lock in an 8% return as a dividend, that that is just stellar. Uh, you're only two percentage points away from hitting your annual target of return. Um, now, granted, at a time like this, you're probably not going to get a 10% return the first year. As I said, this is a risky play, but for the long term, I think this is really worth considering. In the last month, uh, ExxonMobil is down 30%. It's down 37% for the quarter. Uh, it still has positive earnings per share. And as I said, that dividend of 8% is very appealing. I'm talking of oil companies, another company to consider, Chevron. Again, it went down quite a bit in this downturn, hit like all the other uh, oil and gas companies. The reasonable price earnings of 12 on this uh, stock, 6% dividend. This month is down by 20% for the quarter is down 27%. So again, it hasn't had as much of a discount as ExxonMobil. It's not as beaten up. 
but nonetheless, uh, great stock, Exxon Mobil and Chevron. If you are thinking of an oil and gas play or to take advantage of these oil prices, I, I think you can consider these stocks as a good, safe beginner investment to make because at the end of the day, you will get that dividend. These are large, stable companies. So even if things go south, you're not going to, you, you don't stand to lose too much money with these stocks. It's, uh, it's great for beginners to get some experience with, with owning stocks. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.